All right, uh, chapter 11, part 225, Railroad Accident Incident Reports and Classification Investigations. All right. Chapter 11, Part 225, Railroad Accident Incident Reports, Classification, and inf Investigations. Generally, on a regular basis, inspectors should contact the periodic inspection of the, each of the Railroad Accident Incident Reports to determine the compliance of the FAA Railroad, Railroad Accident Reporting Rule. Each inspector should make the thorough and careful examination of the records of priority for each of the railroad in their territory. Inspectors should also review, analyze acc accidents, incident reports during the accident investigation as directed in Chapter 4 of the General Manual. Inspectors should review the Part 225 of the records of the reports, including accountable accidents, incident, uh, accidents, to, uh, incident report records, to ensure that each of the records in the territory correctly recording the accident incidents when appropriate is correctly reporting accident and incident. The FRA, when an inspector determined that an accident and that an accident or incident shall have been reported to the FRA, the inspector should verify the railroad reported the accident incident above the reported it correctly. When conducting a system review of the railroad inc accident incident reports, the reports and the inspector should contact the railroad's reporting officer to ensure answer the question about the FRA regarding regulations of the arranging the access to the records maintained with the reporting officer. Irregularities formed with the during an inspection of an accident incident records must be brought to the intention of the reporting officer corrective action guidance. Inspectors should cross-reference other material, available materials to ensure the railroad correctly reports accidents in, 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 in compliance with Part 225. This can be accomplished by taking in the part information about the accident in support accidents and incidents provided with the discussion between the inspector reported railroad employees officials in addition with the claims of the records outside the documents and comparing with the information with the report with the correlation of the FRA forms the presency between the provided with the verbally to the inspector by the train crews track records mechanical employees railroad managers and any other knowledgeable person and the actual facts reported by the FRA forms should be investigated in a timely and professional manner. The FRA policy for the railroads of reporting grade crossing accident. In mid-2004 the Federal Railroad Administration Acting Association Administration of for safety issued a verbal instruction for the each of the clear out cutout vi violation of the accident incident reporting obligation should be absent special circumstances and be subject to the proposed civil penalties in case of the failure to report highway grade raid highway rail grade crossing accident report accidents or incidences those visual visual verbal inspections noted with the use of the civil penalty authority in subject of the general guidance and containing the Title 49 CFR Federal Court Re Federal Regulation CFR Part 209 Appendix A, which specifies the criteria to be applied for the making of the determinations in Appendix C, which address the small entity of the Regularity of Flexibility Act, the Small Business Regularity Enforcement Act of the or, or the SBREFA, Small Business Re Regulatory Enforcement Act. So, for example, the FRA inspector encounters the signal mistake in the failure of the small railroad to report the grade crossing collision, e.g. E e out of the co confusion of the monetary threshold record of the railway equipment accident incident, the, and if the railroad immediately files as reported, as required, the FRA maintain, might refrain from the using the civil penalty out of the deference of the congressional policy related to the small entities in recognition of the fact that the circumstances are also repeated. Accident incident reports are, 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 are is so fundamental to the so system of the railroad Railroad safety operator oversight um, program development, strong emphasis enforcement warranted with the non compliance with the detected inspectors are required to submit the violation reports for each defective de detected violation of Title 49 CFR Part 225. When the violation is questioned, the clear cut of the failure to report the highway gray highway rail grade crossing accident and incident involving any of the questions without regarding the inter inter interpretation of the regulation sufficiency and the accident constituting alleged failure subject to the application of the small business enforcement um, small business regulatory enforcement act the public law number 104 121 which were relevant uh, the FRA has the right to the, um, cite the railroad for each of the day of the violation and continue the, um, can, this can res represent a potentially high, highly liability each highway, railway, grade crossing, cross, incident, incident, accident, incident, non-timely reported. The FRA usually will usually use this mechanism citing the, for multiple days to assess the more substantial penalties while the railroad conduct can sit in with substantial justification. Accident incident reporting fundamental of the system railroad safety oversight of the program development strong enfor emphasis enforcement warranty with the noncompliance detected inspectors should reference chapter three with the general manual regulatory noncompliance required non um, recommended recommendations for the penalties and for more information. Reference material. In addition to the operating practices uh, compliance manual, there are several other sources available for the additional information guidance relating to Part 225, including the technical bulletins, guidance memos, re response letters. Inspectors should re re reference these materials to assist the conducting system with wide reviews 
and prior to taking the enforcement measures. The following list is some of the key in, um, guidance documents currently available. However, the, the lists are addressed of the more um, material, materials publicly available. The FRA Guide for Preparing Accident Incident Reports of Accident Incident Forms AR Guide. The FRA complying with the guidance of the Submitting a Accident Incident Reports of the Alternative Method Companion Guide. Guidance, um, guidance letters. The FRA routinely provides um, railroads with written verbal guidance with a variety of issuing relating to Part 225 of the FRA inv invasions of making the guidance more widely available. If, in it, if it will help to improve the FRA's enforcement process and accident incident reporting, the FRA will start the posting certain approved with written guidance for response letters to the railroad in response to the FRA's website technical training. Ma Training materials. Please check with the operating training, uh, operating practice training specialist to obtain the relevant update in the training materials. These materials will include the operating practice compliance manual, as in routinely updated. Below is an additional guidance with respect to certain to certain parts of the 225 Public Law 103, 272 Federal Regulations issued. The FRA regulations issued the Title 49 CFR Part 225 that are based on the Public Law 103-272. The former Accident Report Act is now um, Public Law 103-272, Chapter 209, Section 2901, 2902, and 2903 regulations. The final, the following discussion of the record requirements under the Part 225 pursuant to the number of no November 9, 2010 mis miscellaneous amendment, um, an accident incident final report, the final report uh, activity July 1, 2011. All right, um, 225, five definitions covered the data. Covered the data, the reporting is intended to improve the FRA's gathering for the more accurate on the reporting, the making the requirements to report these types of injuries more compatible with the Occupational Safety Health Administrative requirements. The inspector must be aware of some types of injuries categorized with the cover of the data that have been inspected by the FRA's properly when the insurers will not become the FRA's statistical publications. It will not count against the railroads. Consequently, the inspector will not find the record of the covered, uh, covered data every injury on the safety analysis webpage. They will find it on the contact in Washington, D.C. Federal head, FRA headquarters offer us directly to obtain the information. 25.6 Consolidation Report. When the railroad are not permitted to consolidate with the reporting of the parent company community controlled with the rail carriers, the railroad must um, first obtain the approval of the FRA. The section 225.6 contains the instruction requesting approval requirements for notifying the FRA any of the changes changed in the document FRA 2062 and 6173 on the regulations of the government to ensure the railroad has required us to obtain approval. In addition, with the checking of the railroad is properly obtained with the FRA with the guard with the FRA regarded to any changes. 225.9, um, telephone reporting of the certain accident incidents or other events immediately upon a learning of an accident incident that results in any criteria specified in Section 225N. Railroads are required to report the information to the FRA by telephone. The railroads must also be reported to the National Security Tr National Transportation Safety Board, but this will automatically have National Response Center notifies um, both agencies. 225.11, reporting accident incidents inspectors should ensure that all railroad of the territory understanding the required each of the railroad submit. The FRA monthly report of the railroad. All railroad accidents include the monthlies in which they have been accident. Have any accidents? Inspectors can do the reviewing from the FRA safety analysis webpage to ensure the railroad and the territories have been submitted monthly reports of the FRA. The important becomes the also includes the freight, train miles, passenger train miles, yard switch, and train miles, and the other important statistics. 225.11. 12. Railroad equipment accident in reports alleging employee human factor is a cause employee human factor attachment notice to the employee employee supplement. The railroad's responsibility regarding human factor cause and accidents include is cited in the statute 225.21 which states that files form of FRAF 618081 employee human factor attachment form of the um, shall be used in the railroad to uh, submit the railroad equipment accident incident report the FRA F618054 in reporting the railway equipment accident report Accident incidents with attributed employee human af uh, factor. The form shall be completed in accordance with the instruction printed on the form. If the current with the FRA guide with the preparing accident incident reports, the form shall be attached with the railway equipment. The accident incident report shall be submitted within 30 days after the expiration of the month in which this accident has occurred. Road employees option regarding the human factor accidents is uh, set in the statute 225.21. Inspectors should ensure that the railroad provided with the employee the option filing the FRA 618078 when required. All right, 225.19, primary groups of accident incidents, Group 1, Highway, Railway, Grade Crossing, 61857, Railway Equipment, 61854, 
Group two. Um, group three, death and injury, occupational illness, six, F618055A, 618098, 618-0107. All right, the forms, the following list of the general purpose of each of the FRA forms listed in statute 2521, F618098, illness, pro- illness or injury to the property, 618097, initial railway equipment incident, accident incident record. Includes accountability incidents, 618078, incident employee regarding human factor accidents, 618081, employee human fa- factors attachment, 618055, monthly report of summary of accidents, 618055A, death of each of the accident injuries, 618054, accident report, 618056, annual r- r- railroad report of the employee hours of casualties, 618057, highway railway grade crossing, 618107, occupational illness. And 6180-150, Highway User Injury Inquiry Form Form of the FRA 6180-150 shall be sent every potentially injured highway user over the representative involved with the highway, railway, grade crossing accident incident. 225-33 Internal Control Panels. The internal control panel included 11 required to state it, but the statute 225-33, when are summarized below, a policy statement that declares the commitment is complete with the accurate reporting, declares full compliance with the letter and spirit of the regulations, applies, declares the railroad commitment of the principal harassment and intimidation of any person calculated discouraged to prevent such a person from receiving proper medical treatment from reporting such an accident, incident report, injury, illness, will not be permitted to tolerate it, will result in some kind of disciplinary accident against employee, supervisor, manager, officer, railroad committing such harassment and intimidation. Two, the distribution of an above-mentioned policy statement to all employee, supervisor, personnel, management, including the head of places, procedures, processes, complaints, and other policy being violated to impose disciplinary action to violators. Whistleblowers protection must be also provided with the relevant procedure must be disclosed in all railroad employees, supervisor, managers, and officers. Three copies of internal forms and description of the computer reporting system, the description of the internal process procedures of the processing form, the computer data, the description of the internal review procedures reports and prepared for the, each of the department. Six, the description of internal procedures for collecting um, cost data. Seven, the description of internal procedure for the insurance communication among the railroad department's procedure for the updating information prior to the reporting the FRA procedure amending the FRA reports. Nine, the name of the title of the reporting officer, including the frequency of internal audits, the minimum of one per year, listing the location where the most recent audit report may be found, inspection photocopying. A description of the railroad organization, including identification of all the departments, regularity comes into the position, pertinent information, the title of each of the railroad our reporting officer, a title of each of the department manager, all officers to whom the department of the managers are responsible. In the case of the form FR 6180-107, the alternative railroad design form, the statement with the name, the title, address, the custodian of these records, all supporting documents such as medical records and local location of documents, uh... Harassment and intimidation complaints as stated with above the pursuant to statute 225.33H, uh, A1, each of the railroad must adapt and comply with the in, uh, the ICP and in, in contained with the policy statement declaring that it will not tolerate personal harassment and intimidation of any person that was calculated discouraged preventing from a person receiving proper medical treatment reporting for the his or her personal particular accident, incident, injury, or illness. Therefore, as part of the investigation potential hours of the Harassment, intimidation, and inspectors should determine whether the railroad took out any of the disciplinary action against the employee, supervisor, manager, officer, railroad committing such harassment, intimidation, and what steps they took in response to uh, any potential claim. The FRA's anti-harassment intimidation regulations prohibits only na- uh, only narrowly defined categories conducted in such an intended under demean interfering with the reporting of an accident, incident, illness pursuant to Part 225. Consequently, a railroad conduct does not relate to reporting requirements but under Part 225. The FRA conduct compo- imposes civil penalty under 225. Accordance with narrowly defined parameters, the FRA enforces 225.33a with the respect of receiving proper medical treatment only to the extent of the proper medical treatment. After the effects of whether the Ill- injury or the illness will be reported, the FRA statute, the 22533A1, only prohibits behavior intended to prevent the discourage of the person from reporting his or her in- injury compar- temporarily with or her per- before the injured person has formally reported his or her injury to the railroad. Therefore, a person receives medical treatment and the railroad does not attempt to dissuade him or her from reporting an accident, incident, injury, illness to the FRA. Therefore, there is no violation of the statute 22533A1. 
No violation may exist if the railroad attempts to make the employee return to work earlier with the intention of the avoid reporting additional days of the restricted duty and days away from the work. Consequently, any complaint memoed must be addressed in two items. Did the action prevent delay from the injured person from receiving proper medical treatment? Did, you, uh, did anyone manipulate the situation to change or prevent the reporting of it? It is extremely important to each operational practice. Inspector addressed both these issues when investigating a complaint writing of the memo regarding harassment and intimidation. The inspector must clearly state that the memo, whether either the issue exists or neither issue exists. Note any employee whistleblower refers to under the statute 20109 enforces the OSHA in the accordance with the procedure set forth in Title 29 CFR Part 1982. When the investigation of harassment complaint evaluate the situation contemporaneously while before reporting the injury to the railroad. Look for a flagrant, egregious language in medical care and a medical card intended to influence change in the physician judgment, telling them implying no investigation or discipline if the injury is not reported, or conversely that there will be investigations or disciplines if reported. Investigations of the complaint and looking for any of the request sample of the prescription rather than the actual prescription flagrant causes the conflicting medical opinions and injuries interfering with the employee's ability to prompt and jury report, then disciplining with the employee for the failing to report the promptly, requesting an employee to wait until the day of the next day of the medical treatment, managing assisting that they would be allowed in the examination road, uh, managers assisting that they may they be allowed in the examination room. When it's not considered intimidation and harassment, acts occurred before January 1st, 1997. Anything that is not linked to the railroad safety prohibited employees of talking to the FELA lawyers or about accident injuries. Um, notice of the interpretation. On March 20th, 2009, the FRA issued the um, notice of interpretation of 74-1409-1409-2 and informed of the interest party of the application enforcement of the harassment intimidation provisions contained in the Title 49 CFR Part 225 specifically relating to the situation in supervisor or other related official companies are injured and employed to the, into the examination room. The notice of the inter interpretation given the guidelines will help the, inform the regulated community to identify with what when the, such behavior consists of constitute harassment or intimidation calculated with discourage to prevent reporting of an accident, incident, injuries, or illness as a result of the supervisor are also allowed in a treating room treatment room with an employee in a li limited circumstance. Supervisor are generally prohibited by the any during the training treatment room as potential interfere with the employee's ability to receive the proper treatment. All right, HIPAA's laws, um, Health Insurance Portability Accountability Act. The FRA inspector should uh, have regional managers contact with the FRA chief of the town if they are refused to access medical records. Consequently, the inspector may need to contact the railroad and discuss any issue that, of the Health Insurance Portable Accountability Act ahead of the inspector's arrival with the railroad property acts, as for sensitive medical records. If the inspector expects a problem, he or she can contact the chief counsel part, the part 225 inspector and perhaps the subpoena available. Hippo question and answers. Um, is there a, is the FRA authorized to law to carry uh, out public health activities? Yes, by delegation of the Secretary of the Transportation, the FRA is authorized to statute uh, to carry out the investigation, including issuances of subpoenas to acquire the production of the documented records. Question to the FRA subject to the HIPAA answer: No, HIPAA is only applies to the covered entities. The FRA is not covered in the entity. Consequently, information obtained by the FRA is no longer afforded protection under the HIPAA. The FRA should, however, the use of discretion when re-disclosing any private health information. So, do not use do so only legitimate government purposes. Question three, is the subpoena necessary? No, however, the railroad covered the entities may request a subpoena before they release the private health information to merely protect themselves from the liability. It does not necessarily mean that they are being uncooperative. Cost and reportable damages. Reportable damages. If the if this includes the labor costs and other costs of the repair, the replace, the kind with the damage of the track, and the signals, the track, track structures, roadbed. Reportable damages do not include cost of clearing of the wreck. However, the additional damages to avoid above listed below, while clearing the wreck is to be included with the damage estimate. Estimates of the is included with the reported damage. One rental of the operation machinery, such as crane bulldozers, including service or contractors to replace, repair the track of the right of way to the associated structures. Two, the cost associated with the repair or replacement. With the roller bearings on or units where they're der derail their submerged in water replacement costs included labor costs resulting in wheel set change out all right equipment da damage that includes um all costs included labor material associated with the repair and placement kind of the on track of the railway equipment train contracts trailers containers of the flat cars considered to be landing and damage these are not to be included on the track equipment damage 
Um, damage to the flat car carrying the trailer container is to be included with the reportable damage. When the track equipment is damaged beyond the repair, the total redu re reproduction cost of the equipment includes the betterments of 10 added additions is to be calculated in accordance with Rule 107 of the current edition of the Field Manual Association of American Railroads Interchange Rules. The total reproduction cost is dissipated with the field reflecting the amount of the usage of the equipment to be has been subject. The depreciation percentage will be determined by 3% annually, the maximum of 30 years. The equipment over the 30 years over the value of 10% of the total reproduction cost. And the replacement kind of the cost is equipment damage beyond the repair as a result of the calculation. Track damage. All costs, including labor material associated with the repair replacement of the kind of the signals, track, and the track structure, including bridges or tunnel roadbeds that were damaged in the collision, derailment, or the reportable event. When the track signal structures are damaged beyond the repair of the current cost of the new materials to be used, however, the replacement second hand and the second hand rail will be charged with the car earned cost of the such rail. When estimating damage, the labor cost will be reported only with the direct labor cost of the railroad, e.g., hourly transportation costs, um, hotel expenses of the car, fringe benefit. If it's excluded with the calculating direct labor costs, overhead with the excluded with the calculating damage costs, and it's like, well, non-uniform treatment overhead with the under the current process. Um, for services performed by the contractor, the directly hourly, uh, hourly labor costs are calculated with multiplying the contractor total labor hours exchange with the railroad ability, the directly hourly wage rate for the railroad worker in the particular craft. However, the railroad cannot match the equivalent craft for the labor hours spent with the contractor. The railroad might use the load rate if the cost had be by hours of labor fringe benefits and other cost fees for the service charged by the contractor for the tasks associated with the rear repair track go to the equipment and structures due to the train accident. Collision definitions, head-on collision, a collision which the train or locomotive involved with the trailing of an opposite direction on the same track. Rear-end collision, a collision with the train or locomotive involved with the traveling in the same direction on the same track. Side collision, a collision with the turnout where one tra consists of the strikes the side of another consisting raking collision, a collision between the landing, landing, landing of a consisting adjacent track with a structure such as a bridge. Broken train a collision, a collision where the moving train breaks into parts and impacts occurs above. Among these parts, when the portion of the broken train collides with an, another consists. Railroad crossing collision, a collision between on-track railroad equipment at the point where the, where the track intersects. Chapter 12, Pending. Hours of Service Railroad Employees, Record Hour um, Requirements, and Chapter 211, United States Code.